Mike Matheny, who is tossed and then has more to say to, to the second base umpire, Will Little. And Little was the guy that called a balk early on, and then that play at second base. We mentioned the balk. Was Wainwright off the rubber or was he on the rubber is the question there. Well, the, the bottom line is that's pretty weak to throw somebody out with just, you're upset, this game is emotional, you turn and look at the umpire. Mike doesn't say any magic words, so I'm sure he said something. Middle in, slightly elevated. We talked about it pregame, about staying out of the middle of the plate with the Nationals. And then Dolan hits a three-run home run to give him a 5 nothing lead. Well, now Guccione throws A.J. Burnett out of this ball game. He said something about that last pitch. Carlos Ruiz comes running out. Guccione ran from behind home plate out to A.J. Burnett and threw him out of the game. It's the second thing that A.J. has said. And Guccione now is chatting with Ryan Sandberg, and that's getting heated. And Sandberg's probably going to get thrown out of this ballgame as well. And Sandberg is thrown out of this game. And don't forget the Phillies lost Cliff Lee early in the first game of this series, and that pressed the bullpen. And A.J. is livid. We mentioned that it was the, the pitch earlier to, Ren, to Rendon that he was upset about, but there was also pitches in the first inning that Guccione said were down that he thought were strikes. So Burnett's been ejected. Sandberg's been ejected. We figured that Sandberg was going to get ejected when he came out because he obviously was pretty heated too. And he got awfully close to Guccione. It's kind of interesting. Sandberg, after being thrown out, chatted with Tom Halley, and now he's back talking to Guccione. And it's a little calmer situation at this point. A lot of things happened after the home run was hit. And AJ was walking in to get to the ball, get the ball chirping from him. some. And and the umpire walks out towards him and AJ just says you know, basically just give me the ball. That's all he wanted. This is the pitch that he thought was a strike earlier. Yeah, this is the pitch to Worth. That was off the plate there and he was still barking with Guccione. That's where probably AJ just said that pitch is outside. Yeah, that pitch was outside. The other one wasn't. Right. He said he's trying to show me up. That's what Guccione yeah. just said to Sandberg. I think when AJ pointed there, yeah, that was it. I didn't think he would have taken anything verbally, but when he pointed, you don't do that. Same way as a hitter. And right here is where Sandberg, obviously, you figured he was going to go too, just the way. It was getting that heated. And Hallian has to restrain A.J. Burnett. I don't see this that much in baseball anymore. This kind of a of an argument between umpires and players and umpires and managers. But the Phillies will bring bring in Philippe Almont to take over with a 2 0. And there it is. McCutcheon. Hit and Delgado run from the game. There were pregame warnings issued, and McCutcheon is struck in the ninth inning. And Clint Hurdle coming out to see if McCutcheon's all right. McCutcheon spikes the bat. I've never seen Andrew so upset on a baseball field as he is right now. Well, I was hoping that, uh, that you know it wouldn't come to that. I mean it's. 95 mile an hour fastball right in the middle of the back. You know there, there's there's a big difference between pitching inside to get out and trying to hit somebody with a fastball. Big difference. To me this is finable and suspendable. You have got to be sit down and find. There is no way that's not intentional. No way.
He should not be allowed to go back to the mound for quite some time after that. That is a total different animal than trying to do your job and get outs and you know pitch inside and somebody might get accidentally hurt sometime. That is uncalled for. There was no reason whatsoever for any retaliation. It wasn't anything that was out of the ordinary what the Pirates did. But that right there is way out of the ordinary. I can't wait to see what Major League Baseball does about that pitch. Well, last night, Ernesto Frieri. I mean, that's, spot. The, that's just pitching inside. In fact, yeah. watch the hands move forward before they move back. In fact, they never move back until the ball bat hit off of him. He was starting his hands forward to, to make a possible swing. So game. how bad could the pitch have been? Well, the game ended last night, and some conversation between Russell Martin and a couple of the Diamondbacks. First base coach Dave McKay came in. McKay was the instigator last night. He left the field and unnecessarily made comments to Martin. And that's what started that. That Martin did not start that. Well, there was a we, we saw a video earlier of McKay saying something over his shoulder to Mar Martin as they were going out to shake hands. Murphy had the two out single in the fifth and then stole second as he did not agree with that call by the rookie umpire Ben May. 3 2 to Duda. And he takes strike three call. Late call by the rookie umpire Ben May and Duda, who very rarely questions a call, wants to have a conversation about that one. Looks like it might have been a little low. Instead, Lopez has his first strikeout. We go to the eighth, tied at three. Well, Lucas Duda took a third strike that might have been a little low. Started to talk with the rookie home plate umpire Ben May about it. And then Terry Collins was joining, and the overmatched young umpire threw out the manager. That's a joke. You know, you know, it's uh, I don't know where they learn this stuff. He said, "That's enough. I'm not going to take it anymore." Um, who cares if you take any kind of jawing from the one? The pitch was close. I'm not going to say he missed the pitch. I thought it was down. That's all right. But you know, the managers and the players are here to play. There's no reason that as a young umpire. You can't take a little bit from the bench. That's how it goes. Man up. So Terry has been ejected. And we go to the eighth inning. Josh Edgerton threw one pitch to get two out of the seventh. Faces Brandon Crawford to start the eighth. Crawford has walked, struck out, and grounded out. And you saw what Terry was signaling for the dugout. He said that's at least two that you've missed. Well, it was the Murphy pitch also. So right. he's saying both pitchers are the same. Now think about it this way: the pitch on Murphy was called a strike. Okay, seemed down, but that pitch was the same pitch. But it's Lucas Duda's five inches taller than Murphy, right. so he can't have the same strike zone for two different players. Now this is one of the unintended consequences of the. The new replay rules this year, whether you like the replay rules or not, but what it necessitated was an influx of a lot of rookie umpires into the game this year, and you know that has its own consequences. Good size lead the pitch, check swing. I think he went. Did he go? No, they say over at first, and Joe Madden is out of the dugout. And he's on top of Quinn Wolcott, and he just got kicked out. Joe Madden just got kicked out of the game as Quinn Wolcott just kept the best hitter, or one of the best hitters for the A's, at the plate. And Wolcott didn't say anything. He's just sitting there and wearing it from Joe Madden. Wow. He went. Seen a couple of different replays here, and there is no doubt he went. And Dale Scott comes over to protect one of his young pups. You got two minor league umpires in this game. 
John Tempain and Quinn Wolcott, I think, are both minor league umps. And Joe Madden has been kicked out of this game. And Joe's going to bark a little bit, maybe give C.B. Buckner a little word or two. C.B. could have easily rung him up, too. Side corner, Holiday has been ejected. Napoli had issues with the home plate umpire last inning, and now Holiday with that borderline call ejected. Swing, they're going to punch him out. So Matt Kemp will strike out with the bases loaded. However, Adrian Gonzalez had the base hit to drive in two. Matt is going to be kicked out of the game. Arguing with the plate umpire Brian Knight, and he is history. All right, Tom, thank you so much. Here is Kendris Morales to lead it off. And he got hit. Surprised by that. Retaliation. Given, yeah, not surprised <laughs> after seeing Abreu get hit a couple of times. Not surprised at all. But I think deep in his own heart. I always love the bobbleheads right there because that one of loose hair has never looked that good. So. <laughs> well, Lloyd immediately out of the dugout. Wants a warning. He's angry. Protecting their first baseman, huh? Uh oh. Get him. Get your money's worth now, man. Oh, Lloyd, I think he wants him thrown out of the game. He wants the pitcher out of the game. Could be an interesting weekend. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Building a foundation right here, boys. Well, I'll, Lloyd has I'll also make... said it many times. He wants his team to take on his personality, and there's no questioning his toughness and what he's about. I like it. I'm, I'm going to tune, right. tune in. <laughs> Plato. Well, I'll give him some credit. I, I mean, he's protecting his first baseman, and he threw the ball down in the zone. Nice little conversation between Morales and Abreu over there at first base. Toby Basner, minor league call up. That's a shock that you have a quick hook. One four nothing as we go to the bottom of the third here at Rogers Center. And apparently, somebody got tossed in the uh, Tigers bench. Brad Osmus came out and was having a rather Heated discussion with Bill Miller, the home plate umpire. All of the Tigers regulars are out there. And it appears that Osmus is the one that has been thrown out of the game. Open things up. Napoli strikes out looking. We'll have words for CB Buckner. Second strikeout for Smith, two down. And Napoli's got to be careful here. Now he's gone. Ejected from the game. CB did give him a while to talk. Yeah, he did. And I really don't think Napoli had a beef on that. Farrell might go too. If you look at the location of this breaking ball, I think you're going to find it's going to be a strike. 
That is a good pitch. You know, belt high, uh, outside part of the plate. Good ball game. Two singles, a walk. Diving, Flaherty, one, drop. But the outs recorded. Matheny's going to come out and review this again. I remember under the rule at the beginning of the season, the runner would have been safe if the ball had been dropped in the transfer. So there's never really a true clean catch in the glove. You see there, it's still open and never closed on the on the ball. Safe. Mm. They're going to overturn it. So Matheny's challenge works, and now Buck Showalter is going to come out, and this is purely argument. And Buck Showalter, you look at this. He wants to talk to New York. He's out of the game. You can't argue these things. Showalter saying, "Come on out here. I want to talk to New York." And the umpire's gone. Uh, no, no. I think that's the first time he's been thrown out, isn't it? Well, he's been frustrated with some of these reviews and, and potentially what they're looking at. And obviously, uh, for him, he's arguing. He doesn't get to argue with the people who made the call. The people who made the call are in New York. Yeah, he wants to go talk to them. What Bruce Bochy is going to talk to Chris Siegel about was Tyler Flowers blocking the play. We saw this last night with Posey. And it didn't work. And now we'll see what happens here. So now Robbins is going to come out. And absolutely. Well, he's yelling at him because last night this same almost identical play was called the other way. Boy, I tell you what, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is this this rule is BS. That's what it is. Pure, simple BS. They cannot have a crew of umpires in New York making this decision. Even with the video they have and anything else, it's just it's just a bad rule. It's just a bad rule. It's just that simple. I tell you, that's that's just it's not baseball. It's just not baseball. It's just like they're trying to do some of the things in football. What are they going to make that a little little girls game? This is runners at first and third with one out, uh, one nothing Sox lead. Pitch to Joe Panic, swinging a ground ball to first. Breu coming home, the throw there. The tag by Flowers, he's out. That's 3 2 on the out at home plate. Nice play by Abreu. Yeah, I'm a little little concerned about that rule, though, because. About him standing in the line. He, he of the had his foot runner. in between the runner and um, and the plate. Oh, man. And here comes one of the worst situations in baseball about to be questioned. Could have a manager's challenge right here. Well, they oh, have to. Yeah. About to come back with a decision. Oh, boy. They're calling him safe. Here comes Ventura. He's not long for the game. He is not long for the game. And I think he's just been tossed. He has. This is a ridiculous call. Somebody wrote this rule, and it's been an, it's ridiculous. So they well, get a run on an out at home plate. I would send everybody to home plate. I would. I've, uh, Never even stop. Just keep running. If they put their foot in front of the lane, they're safe. On the ground. Coming home is Blanco, and they got him. And a nice play by Abreu. Just a big league jam shot. Play right in front of Abreu. With Blanco going on contact, I don't know if he ever did touch the base with his lower body. He may have slapped, touched it with his hand as he stood by. But you know what, Dave? Bruce Bochy may want to look at this to see if he was blocking the plate. And he's going to. This could be very interesting. And there's a big time conversation, so here we go. Safe. And here comes Ventura. And this game is tied. That 
you know, the one thing that Ventura would like to do is just grab the headset. Dribble up the first baseline. And he had a throw it past Pierce. He could not get an angle. And will get an oh. error instead. Now they're going to say that Drew ran out of the baseline. Home plate umpire Jerry Davis makes the call, and Joe Girardi is out arguing immediately. And we're going to have another look at this one. There's a little dribbler. There's Drew going down the line. Now, once he gets to the 45 foot mark, he's got to run inside. And, and to me, Boy, I don't think he ran out. No, of the line. I don't either. At least in the first part when he got to the 45 foot line, I thought he was within the two lines, which is where he's right there. He is. And it depends on if he was hit because it looked like he went for the base. Now the base is on the left side of the uh, foul line and you have to move that way to get to the bag. Watch him come down the line. This is a very good angle. Ball is a little dribbling. He reacts a little slowly, but now he's coming down the line. He's going to be within his rights about right here. Hundley picks up the ball and he's going the other way. I'll tell you what, I think the I think he was within his rights there. He has to go for the bag. The Joe ball. Girardi just got thrown out of the game. Yeah, I, I had a feeling he would. I mean, there's a difference having a runner in scoring position with a couple of outs and another hit is another run. But I thought he ran within the 45 foot line when the. Joe says to Jerry Davis, you're wrong. And Jerry says, you're gone. He said, you're wrong. And then he rated his call. And Jerry didn't want to hear it. So he threw him out. All right, we'll take a brief timeout. We'll come back. It's time for the seventh inning stretch here in Baltimore. Best we have indicates that Here we he go. is safe with Brzezinski giving it away. Oh. Now, but Buddy should go ballistic right here. This is, yeah. Well, he, yeah. Get your money's worth, Buddy. There you get go. Get out there. Yep. Third base umpire and, and, and Hoy getting in the act and, here, and I can guarantee you, you know why? Because they didn't have a they didn't have a camera angle to to get the right call to see daylight between glove and player. You know, when you run away from the play as Przezinski did, or run back to the play, that that should be the most obvious of all clues. And the Padres. Uh, Are getting mistreated here. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that this club loves about him is he will fight for his player and he has the best one on the mound right now. What did I say, Tony? What did I say? What are you gonna see in the report? What are you gonna see in the report? What's the ball right there? What are you gonna say in your report? Ooh. I like you hear that. I want to hear it. what are you going to say in your report. Well it was clear it Lloyd obviously ticked off and and here's what started. This goes back to the Cabrera at bat in the first inning. The timeout call. Well, you can see Cabrera called timeout, and it was a late timeout call by Randazzo. And when you could see McGrath, Cabrera starting to back out as Randazzo was calling him, he was backing in because Felix started his motion. And that's what kind of started this whole thing. Felix wasn't happy about it. Lloyd certainly wasn't. I don't blame him. 3 2. Not been a great hitter in this category. But he drives one to left field deep and far, and there's his first grand slam of his career. This one has changed quite a bit due to the overturned call at second base and John Farrell is incensed. A grand slam has the Astros on top six to nothing and a direct effect. For the Astros here in a big way instead of being out of the inning they now lead it six to nothing. Yeah the walk leads to Altuve and Altuve leads to four runs. Just now comes got Farrell just now. Just got ejected. Eddings ejected him from behind first base.
I understand his displeasure. Third ejection of the season for John Farrell. And he's waiting for Jim Joyce, the crew chief, to arrive. He's on his way. See what he just said? He asked if it was a neighborhood play, and Jim Joyce basically said, I told him it was not the neighborhood play. So he agrees with you, Jerry, that it was not the same thing. Yeah, and, and that's 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 only far argument Farrell has right there yeah. because, they I mean, the, the play was evident. It was clear. And what John Farrell is arguing is the fact that, the, you know, can you review that or can't you review it? And he feels very strongly they could not review it, and he's been thrown out of the ball game. 3-2 pitch. Did not go as they checked down to Tony Rendazzo. Tell you something else. If the club keeps winning and they get into the postseason, I think Lloyd has to be right there. That's the, the one I was thinking of. Duh. Yeah. That's the one I was thinking of. It slipped my mind there for a second. Somebody just got tossed. Rendazzo. Like he's running somebody. I wonder if it's Chris Woodward. Who is it? Can't tell. Randazzo, he was hit by a line drive earlier today. And then he got hit by a line Nobody drive. Nobody knows who he's talking to. Off the bat of Montero a couple of years ago. Seeger. Nobody's moving. You got to come they, tell they, us. they don't know who it is. Boy's going to go out and find out. Uh, this, this is ridiculous. Totally. He's going to go over to Brian Gorman, the crew chief. It was Randazzo that ran somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tony had a bad, bad night last night. Yes, he did. And he might be making matters worse right now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sure. Typically, on a check swing, obviously the Mariners want the strikeout. Right. And when you don't get the call, or if it had gone the other way, the Tigers probably would have reacted yeah. as well. Not, not and it just puts your ball. hands in the air. No, it happens every day. Yeah. So now he's. I mean, come on, a guy's been Who around. Is it? Been around since '99. He should know better. Than, he shouldn't have those kind of rabbit ears. Is it Trent? No, it looks like it's Lloyd. He's handing Holy him the card. Michael, it's Lloyd. Wow. Goodness gracious, what is going on here? That's that's terrible. I mean, well, take a look at the check swing. This is, I guess, what caused it. But take a look at it. It looks like he went too far to me, but they said that he didn't. That's fine. The Mariners' entire bench reacted to it, and Randazzo ends up throwing Lloyd out of the game. A little persecution complex there, fella, huh? Huh? Hey. That's the fifth ejection for Lloyd on the season. Back to backers. Not sure that he earned the last two. No, absolutely, absolutely not. Hey, I understand hard feelings, but I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. If they go to the changeup right here. Foul tip. Bauer claiming it hit the dirt. And the at bat's still alive, I believe. Yep. Mauer claiming that the foul tip hit the dirt, and now Chris Siegel is going to get some rebuttal from Ned Yost. Well, it looked like the change up, and it was perfect down and yep. away, and you could see the little uh, bounce in front of the glove of Perez. Well, now Joel Mauer discussing it with Siegel as if Mauer's been called out. No question it was a foul tip. The ball went straight down on the dirt, and then on replay, you could see the ball bounce up into 
Perez's glove. That is a tough call. So hopefully he can ask for some help because of where that umpire sits behind the catcher. We could see the dirt kick up. I thought that first shot that we had really showed the ball kind of hitting the dirt before it uh, bounced into the glove. Let's take a look at the first shot right here. Let's see. Straight away center shot. Sure looked like it uh, hit the dirt. Before. Well two things had to happen. It had to be foul tipped and you could see the ball was redirected. And then it had to have hit the ground and you could see in replay that it did. But given this discussion. It sure sounds like Joe Maurer has been called out. Otherwise Ned Yost would be picking up the argument. Yeah Joe's out. It's a strikeout. Now you can't. As a manager, argue balls and strikes. What Gar Gardy is arguing was that Field and Colbreth might have seen a different. I'm telling you, that's a tough call for a home plate umpire because a glove, you know, you almost have to watch him. The ball hit the dirt. And that's of course, where it, you'd like to have help from, uh, you know, the crew right. chief, Field, Field and Colbreth, or the first base umpire, Dan Ayasanya. Well, now the Twins need to pick me up, and Chris Siegel is hearing more from the Twins dugout here. You have to check the ball. You got to check the ball. The ball hit the ground. Check it. You got to check the ball. And Garnett's toss. He wanted the ball checked. I think our microphone could pick that up. Check the ball to see if there's a scuff mark. And I think what Gardy did there was to do what he could to keep Joe Maurer in the game, who I don't believe has ever been ejected. And what he's saying is just check well, the ball. I'm wondering if uh, Kenny Vargas asked the umpire to check the ball. And maybe they uh, they said no, we're not going to. Which is a hitter's prerogative, right? right. If you... All right, the ball goes down. The spin changes. It hits the dirt and bounces up into Perez's mitt. And all Gardy got thrown up for is just check the ball. And uh, the final words were that's wrong. And I believe the manager is right. A hitter can have an umpire ask the umpire to check the baseball. And I think that was the basis of the Twins' appeal. I don't think it would have changed anything with Maurer already back in the dugout. So the manager is gone. And the. Caught the inside corner. Albert doesn't like the call. Two balls, two strikes. There's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Make that seven in a row retired by Della Rosa. One out here in the sixth. Seven strikeouts now for Della Rosa. As uh, Andy Fletcher, or Mike Sosha, I should say, is run out there to meet Andy Fletcher. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, considering where the dugouts sit, the visiting dugout sit here in this ballpark. I don't know how a home plate umpire can determine who or what said something to get him ejected from the dugout. But judging from that conversation with Mike Sosha, I don't think it was Mike Sosha got thrown out. And now Sosha has been tossed. I'm guessing it was pool holes. I mean, you have to have an incredible hearing to be able to determine who's hollering what and where it's coming from. And Albert looks like he's clearing out the bats and maybe is ejected. Well, right there, you see Andy Fletcher throwing pool holes out at that point. Ross may have gone around. They check, yes, he did, and they ring him up. First out of the eighth inning. And Ross better be careful here. He's now headed out to talk to the umpire. Well, the umpire gave him a warning to go back to the dugout, and that's enough. Now he's gone.
Ross was obviously upset when he was going down the first base line and he got the bad news and then the umpire kind of gave him a motion to go back to the dugout. Ross didn't do that. He kept out after the first base umpire. That's when he threw him out of the game. As you said it was kind of like a warning. It was uh, it almost was like a like a warning like don't like stop now or I'm going to have to throw you out. And on the check swing it's so hard to tell. Here's where Ross gets the bad news. Yeah you did. Yeah you did it. Stop now and you know. <laughs> Asking where he's going. He kept coming. Now he did. Is for somebody to put their hand in there and move the fingers around. Take away that comfort level you have with your own mitt. Bautista thought it was ball four. Bill Welke rings him up. It was a slider. And Welke having a discussion. Oh, he threw him out of the game. And Bautista. And John Gibbons might be next. Just telling Welke what he thought of that pitch and didn't seem to be very animated, but he got tossed. So Bautista has been thrown out of this game. Seemed to be awfully quick. Well, it's a pretty good pitch, and I think Jose Bautista is just showing his frustration, and he's questioning the umpire, and it sounds like Bill Welke was going to listen a little bit, but not too much, finally ejecting him for arguing the balls and strikes. It did look like a good pitch. It was a slider down and away, and Bautista was called out and then took exception and voiced his displeasure with the umpire and has been thrown out of this game. And again, you talk about the frustrations Jose's experiencing right now. Excellent job by Kurt Casale, the catcher, making that ball look good to the home plate umpire, Bill Welke. It's certainly not. Now, Pence inches off a little further, and it's three and one. So Buster Posey, who's taking a long look at Tim Flannery. And still looking at Tim Flannery. What are we looking at here? Jake Peavy, is he get thrown out? I think he did. I think Paul Immel, the third base umpire, just tossed Jake Peavy. There it is, no doubt. Why would Jake Peavy have? Been? I don't understand why he would get tossed. No, that's, a, that's a fastball, that's a low strike. And Bruce Bochy's just been thrown out. Now, Bochy's got to be living at this. You think back to the pitch that was called a ball with Tyler Matzik, the Rockies pitcher, up in a 3 2 count from Jake Peavy. And that's the argument he's making right now. He's going, You're killing me. You called that ball four against Matzik now in a one run ball game. You got my big guy up there and you ring him up in a ball that's, that's low. And he's going to get a good peace of mind right here. And when Doug Eddings goes back and watches both pitches, he's going to understand exactly what Boach is talking about. And right now, Boach is trying to fire up that bench. Jim Joyce, the crew chief, has come in to help out Eddings. I think coach he's ever looked up to an umpire in his life. Now here's the three two pitch to Tyler Matzik. Remember this one. That was called a ball. I'm sorry that's a two two pitch. Now here's the. 
Strike three called to Posey. That's wow. the bad call. Wow. Find out exactly when Ethier was ejected, and this appears to be it as J.P. Howell was coming on. Apparently, some barking from the dugout. Just missing with a fastball. That ball is driven deep to left. And just like that, this game is tied. That didn't take long. Get right out of here. And there was no question about that one. And Ron Renicky is hot. Ron Renicky comes to the mound. Talking to the home plate umpire about the first two pitches that K Rod threw, and now he just got thrown out. Now Renicky is ejected. That's why he went out there. He thought those first two pitches were strikes. Didn't call him, and that forced K Rod to throw one down the middle. You could see that. That's why he went out there. Renicky was immediately ejected once he started to. Argue with Mark Ripperger. You cannot argue balls and strikes. It's an automatic ejection. And Renicky went to the mound, got the information he needed, and out he goes. Kind of looked at her funny and didn't really react. By the end of the meal, she had realized or been told it was Bruce Bochy. Oh, really? <laughs> Oops. Coglin might get tossed here. He's had enough. He has had it with Ben May. There he goes. Ben May and Ben did. Coglin is done. Coglin went up on a borderline pitch last time. This one on the plate. Coglin thought it was down. But when he reviews the video, he'll realize that May got it right. Now the one two. Did he go? No, says third base on Phil Welty. And he hears some barking from the Indians dugout. Well, he's uh, he's barking back. Let's check it out from the side. Oh, Somebody yeah. just got ejected. I don't know who it was. Ty Van Berkley or is it Mickey Calloway? But you looked at it from the side and it looked like he did go. He wasn't uh, gonna take anything. So Terry Francona wants to go out and have a talk with him. Yeah, it's Calloway fighting for his pitcher. He thought he swung and you know That's what? That's a quick hook. I gotta believe well, I gotta tell you. You know what? He probably said enough is enough. He was barking his own self. Well, let's check it out from the side, Matt. What do you think? Right here. I thought he went. There you oh, go. Yeah. There's no There's, question. Yes, so did. that's why they had a legitimate beat. Yep. And Welke wasn't going to put up with it, but you know what? A lot of times you don't put up with it when you know you made a mistake. Those guys last night. I hope to see that same one tonight. Jamie Wright. 2-2. Two -two. Oh. Tech swing. Didn't get the call inside. Appeal the first. No swing, says Clint Fagan. And Buddy Black is not happy with the first base umpire. He's been thrown out of this game. That's the minor league call up umpire over at first base. Buddy Black just got tossed. Let's see if he has reason. That ball, that bat went a long way. See it from our phantom cam. That is ridiculous. He had every reason to get tossed there. And he's still not happy about it. He still hasn't gone anywhere. The home plate umpire. Yeah, I thought it was both ways. I actually thought it was a pretty good pitch. He's been called all night. And then the checks. New pitcher Otero, and there's going to be new manager in the A's dugout. In between innings, Bob Melvin was thrown out by home plate umpire Jerry Davis. Well, he didn't like the strike zone either, as uh, I'm sure Scott Casimir didn't, and 
That is an automatic when you argue balls and strikes. He was letting Jerry Davis know.